you going? What you doing, dog? Huh? What's up? He's taking over my chair. This is the chair I'm sitting in, trying to do some work, and he's like, over here, do it. Take it over. Poor baby. I got to take you out of my out of my chair. <laughs> he's so pretty. Oh, pretty boy. Let's get closer. Let's put the camera closer. Let's see he's really up close. Pretty boy. Look at look at Zolly. Look at Zolly in the camera. See how pretty how pretty the boy is. <laughs> You're a pretty boy. And he says, Ow. Ow. <laughs> this is what he does to how he talks to me. Look at those claws. God, ow. Ow. <laughs> Ow! Okay. There's claws right there. Yeah. Ow! Ow! Can I, okay. Give me my hand back. I think you're a little bit of a brat tonight, taking over my chair. You want me to have my chair back? Okay, good. Now I can sit down in my chair. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm one of Michelle Taylor out here in, in San Antonio, California. And that was my that was my cat Zolly. He's a big brat, and um, you know he he drew some blood just now on one of my arms. He's pretty aggressive. He wants to play. You know, I don't usually like entice him to to scratch me or bite me too much, but he naturally just does that. Well, today I I wanted to talk to you about positive mindset. It's so important that we have a positive positive mindset at all times. You know, I've been listening to a couple of self development books uh, every day for um, the last thirty days, and I have to tell you, it's been a big change in my life, and it just happened to just manifest. And you know, it's it's amazing how when you let things go and you stop worrying about stuff that's going on in your life, the things that you don't want to see happening, you know, if you focus on things that are right before you that like a bad situation or things that are happening that are not exactly the way you want them to go, you can get more of that. Because what it does is like every thought, every word, every intention that you have that's being created by your mind creates a frequency. And it's electronic magnetic frequency, an EMF, that goes through your body and then out into the universe. And um, and so whenever you think about or focus on things that are not good, okay, or not I don't know, bad situations, worrying, doubt, and disbelief, um, just stressing out, not having peace, not being content with what's going on right now. Uh, accepting the fact that yeah you're going through this you know you, you put up a resistance and what happens is it just continues to happen instead of like okay I'm gonna recognize where I'm at right now um, I'm feeling kind of angry I'm feeling kind of hurt and uh, you know maybe somebody did something said something that doesn't quite resonate with you that's why you're feeling the conflict in your spirit at that very moment is when you want to affirm and deny you, you deny and affirm deny the fact that you are you have any of those things like anger or discontent in your life and that what that is is recognizing right you're right where you're at okay and then from there you want to affirm something uh, that is the opposite of that negative feeling or thought into a positive feeling or thought to get that resonance going and rolling in your life and continually rolling because you want to stay on that positive mindset frequency now this has all uh, been proven scientifically that your thoughts can change the DNA structure or matter of things. That's why our prayers work so good because we have a, a strong passion, a strong frequency of love. That's a healing frequency, and you have a passion about it. It's very strong, and there's like no time factor involved. It's like right there instantly. Whatever your you know intentions are being you know directed towards. It could be to yourself or to other people in your family or friends or any enemies. And you don't want to go there. You want to try to reconcile any kind of relationships that you have 
that have severed if it's worth it, you know, it makes you the more mature person, the more self-developed and mature person to reconcile re relationships that have been lost, especially if they've been long, uh, you know, time friendship relationships or family member relationship, you know, give yourself some time and then uh, go and, and address that person, approach that person, may it be by text, email, letter or phone or in, in, in person. But have the intention of, you know, beforehand that that relationship is going to be restored. That's just one thing that, you know, I, I have practiced in my life. And, um, you know, I've noticed that when, I, when I'm when persistent and consistent with that, like the person might not want to, you know, have anything to do with me at, at the moment I come back to them. But eventually, you know, um, the love that you have for that person, you know, because you've gotten rid of all... You know, anger, you've gotten rid of all jealousy, you've gotten rid of all discontent and unpeaceful feelings. And you have a love and a passion for that person, and you should be able to go back to them and say, I'm sorry, you know, maybe I was wrong. And, you know, not go back into all the details of what happened, but just, like, move forward. You know, say, I love you, and I, I really want us to get back, you know, the way it used to be, or even better. You know, I want a relationship back. I really value our friendship or our family and or whatever it is that you're going through you know these are mature things that we need to do like not act like you know well I'm just going to block you off of Facebook or I'm going to um you know just just you know excommunicate you from my life completely no that's not how I operate okay I feel like when people come into your life it's divine appointment and you know we're not perfect you know and so you need to recognize you're not perfect you could have said something or did something that someone perceived differently than what you actually intended so apologize for that, you know, because you're not quite perfect in, in everything that you do and think and you say, you know. So anyway, with that, I just want to say what what you got to do is, like, say you're angry. Well, there is no anger in my world. There is only content, happy fellowship, joy, prosperity in my world. Only those things exist in this world over here. And so when you when you start thinking about that, that's what you're actually creating. Creating that good feeling, and you know, because thoughts are things. Faith is a substance of things unseen, the expectancy of things hoped for. That's a Bible scripture. So when you, when you, faith is what you're believing in, what you're thinking about. Everything we do, think, and say, is starts with a thought. And when you recognize that, and you become aware, and you become conscious of your own actions, you take responsibility for your own actions. Even when you have a falling out or somebody that's coming and being a hater on your wall or whatever, you know, you can choose to just shut it off, you know, and, and delete the post or whatever and not even entertain it. But if it's somebody that's like been in your friend, you know, a friend for a really long time or family member, you know, you can, you can delete the message. You can, you know, like stop talking for a little bit until you get over that, that bad frequency. Don't let it go out to anybody else. It's already surging through your own body, okay? It's already surging through you. You don't want that to go through anybody else, right? Because it can be destructive. It is very destructive uh, frequency. Um, I mean, the military uses sound frequency to, uh, you know, confuse the enemy by using different kinds of frequencies of sound mixed together that causes static, and it just makes a person go crazy. So, you know, when you, uh, when you, you got to get control of your mind and what your thoughts are because everything we do starts with a thought. Same way with God, how he created everything. Everything was in his mind before he spoke it out and created it. Okay? He thought about what he was going to do before he did it. And you were in the mind of the creator way back at the beginning, the foundation of this universe. You were in his mind. You are unique. You are special. You're not like anyone else. And everybody else around you is the same. They are unique. And they are special. And there's nobody like any one of us. We're the only ones that he, you know, we were made like a mold to make two or three people the same. We could see it on our fingerprints and the retinas of our eyes. And even the voice recognition. They can find out who people are just from their voice. You know, so we are so unique. We, you know, he broke the mold, right? And he didn't even make a mold. He just made us. He just fashioned us in his mind first. And then in our time and place in this universe right now, at such a time as this, 
We are so blessed and highly favored to be in this universe right now at this time and how we can bless other people with our love and the heart and the giving and the service of others. With that, I'm going to say you're blessed and highly favored and I hope I brought some value to you today. Um, be watching. you, uh, Hebrew brothers and sisters, I'm going to be having some new tutorials coming out of how to tie these seeds and different kinds of things that I do with my business and the construction of linen fabric and garments and accessories for your observance. That blessed and highly favored. I'll talk to you again on the next video. Shalom, shalom.